All I can say is if you missed the live workshop that, that I did the other day, you should have been there. It was so much fun. And let me tell you, it was standing room only. So here's what I did. Here was the workshop. I did the workshop on using AI in social media for small businesses. Now, the big deal was a lot of people in small businesses are wanting to figure out how to use AI, not only in their social media, but in their business itself. So we were able to go over some things. Let me tell you, it was so much fun. Let me, I show, I'll show you some of the things that I, I covered here. So the most popular ones are the ones we've heard a lot about, right? We've heard a lot about the chat GPTs. We've heard a lot about Google. We've heard a lot about uh, Copilot, but a lot of people had not heard about this one, Perplexly. And oh my gosh, I was able to, in the time that I had, pull up Perplexly and show how it is a work between a little bit of what Google does and a little bit of what chat gpt does and it is a lot of fun so i was able to pull that out again i wish you were there i'm literally thinking about doing it again maybe in a different capacity i'll leave a link for you somewhere so you can maybe sign up for when i do it again maybe it'll be online so go ahead and sign up for that i'll show you that here in a second all right here's some things that I'll, i typically get when i'm talking about uh you know using ai in social media here are some of the things that just keep coming back it's one of the things i ask typically is how are you currently using it now and then all kinds of questions come up because typically people are using ai wrong i mean they're just doing surface level stuff but when you're a small business you really want to dig into it and ask some things in a particular way so i went into a few of the prompts that you might ask to get certain things out wasn't able to demonstrate it because we're going to do that in a bigger workshop all right. And then I asked, um, how much money has it saved you already and or time? It's because we've got to be able to look at time and says, OK, here's what I could be doing with my time here with social media uh, in my social media or otherwise. And here's what a GPT has allowed me to save in terms of time. So that becomes a big consideration. And then some problems that it may have caused. Now, this is the big consideration because people are worried about their jobs or they're just fearful of it. They don't want to adopt it because it's too much like what they do already and they may become fearful. So I was able to pull out, tease out some, what problems has it caused already? And then offer some solutions to the problems you're seeing already. A lot of the problems are related to not knowing what to do, what the particular application that can be utilized for their particular situation. I gave some examples on that. And then what else would you like to do with it? This one was huge. I wish you could have been there, but it was huge because so many people says, well, I want it to save me money. OK, we know about that one. I wanted to save me time. I wanted to answer my phone calls. I wanted to do sales. So we were able to really talk about that one as well. There's um, some tremendous apps coming out. I'm going to talk about those here in a second that go about doing that for you. I use a really big example of one one company that is using an AI, they're kind of using the API of AI or open AI to save them millions of dollars. I kid you not. And I talk about what that is. And I may do that one in um, the bigger work or, uh, course that I'm going to do or the bigger workshop that I'm going to do. And it is saving so much money. So many people, when they read the article, they were just going nuts because, of course, they want to do it, too. Well, that's going to be causing some fear with people that do this work to earn themselves a living. So got to consider it. All right. So the next part of it was specifically social media. Are you using it in social media? How are you using it in social media? In marketing. How are you using it in marketing? And then sales and customer support. I talk a lot about that. I actually use the that big company that just did a big old article about it and how they're saving the work of 700 agents by using an AI agent. Just saying. All right. So we talked a little bit about that. Then I got into some other tools that you may never have even heard of. This one right here called SynthFlow. And this is how you can create your voice assistants. Now, you can see some particular applications for having a voice assistant, people making calls in and or if you need them to make calls out. Good stuff. Ad creative. When you're creating your ads, how are you using a platform that utilizes and leverages AI to create them for you? 
to create a lot of them for you because we used to have to hire that out, whether we're using uh, contractors or whatever it is. But now we've got an app that'll do that for you. And you'll get a chance to see some of these things in the bigger workshop because I pull them out, pull them up, show how they're actually being used and all that good stuff, right? Here's another one, auto response or auto repurpose. Dot com. Now, we've heard of other repurposing kind of things, whether you're using like, you know, Taja or if you're looking, using OpenAI, Opus AI, Opus AI. Yeah. So if you use Opus Pro, sorry, Opus Pro, if you're using something like that, that is a repurposer. But this one turns, oh, my gosh, this goes levels deep in turning one video into many. And then get this. This is a key part. Post them online for you. Scheduling that. That is game changer stuff. So again, it gets to saving time. This is what you may have missed by not coming to the live workshop, but I may give an opportunity to do it again, whether I'm going to recreate it and then use it as like a webinar or whatever it is. Be on the lookout for that one. And then here's the opportunity if you want to work with me directly to implement your AI strategy, because I'm doing this work all day, every day. I'm finding out what is new and I'm telling everybody, hey, this is what's new. This is what's coming out. In the live workshop, they had a chance to scan the QR code to get on my calendar. And a lot of people have taken advantage of that. I'm a really busy guy. It, it kind of slows down for me a little bit in the summer because I teach all this time. And then in the summer, I kind of like, you know, have a little bit of relaxation. But last summer was extremely busy. So if you want, go ahead and scan the code and get on my calendar. If it's too busy or if somebody else has gotten in before you, what I'll do is give you a call or give you an email. So leave all the information for me that you need to so that I can send you an email if I'm tied up and we can make a different arrangement. OK, so that's pretty much what I was able to go over, everyone, in the live workshop. Now, what I'm going to have coming up is an extended workshop because this was considered a mini workshop. It was, again, standing room only, but it was a smaller version of the bigger one that I'm going to do. Now, I may end up creating courses and all that kind of stuff out of that. But in the meantime, if you're going to need some help, if this is something that you look at right now, you see that it is coming up. But you also see that if you don't keep up on it, you're going to get left behind. Go ahead and hit that QR code and get on my counter and I'll talk to you then.